You! Are you going to Point Lookout? I need your help. My daughter stowed away on the Duchess Gambit a few weeks ago, and I've been worried sick ever since. I haven't heard anything from her, but if you're going there, could you look for her? Please, I'll do anything to help. Oh, bless you. Her name is Nadine, and she left a couple of weeks ago. Said she wanted to see the world. Silly little thing that she is. That Tobar said he dropped her off at Point Lookout, but who knows what's happened to her since then. I don't know if you can convince my little Nadine to come back, but just give her this note from me, would you? Only that it's where Tobar gets those punga fruits he sells off. Must be making a good profit off of them, too. I hear rumors the place is full of swamps and killer plants, but I don't know about all that. She's about your age, and when she left her hair was dyed bright orange, you shouldn't have any problem recognizing her. She told me she wanted to go find her fortune, but I thought it was too dangerous. I should have known better than to say that. Moment I told her she couldn't go, it was just a matter of time before she ran off. Please, find my daughter. Welcome, my friend. I am Tobar the Ferryman, and this fine vessel is the Duchess Gambit. We're just back from Point Lookout, but it won't be long before we set off again. Interested? You look like a man who's been around the waist, so I'll cut right to it. In Point Lookout, you'll find fresh-grown food, mysterious locales, and treasures as of yet unlooted. But keep your wits about you, because you'll find more than a few exotic critters and inhospitable locals. So stay here if you're not man enough. You should have seen her back in her heyday, why we traveled up and down the coast from the Commonwealth to the Broken Banks. Good times, but these days she's not fit to take out to the coast. Too many spouts ready to drown her and too many critters looking for lunch. But the Point Lookout run is good enough for now. We've got a sweet deal ferrying cargo and the occasional traveler. Down south, this side of the bay, there's a soggy strand of beach called Point Lookout. Oh, it's got it all. Ruins of ancient pleasure towns, mysterious swamps bristling with treasure, and all practically untouched by outsiders. But if you're curious, I could offer you a ride over to that faraway land. For a nominal fee, of course. Down south, this side... Ah, Nadine. Sprightly little tomboy with more curiosity than common sense, that one. <laughs> Caused so much trouble on the trip that I probably would have thrown her overboard <laughs> if she hadn't reminded me of myself at her age. I haven't seen her since we hit land at Point Lookout. But knowing her, I'll bet she's gotten herself in plenty of trouble. Good travels to you. Once you've got a ticket, just head into the cabin and settle in on the cot. We'll be there in no time. Whenever you're ready, just take a rest on the cot in the cabin. We'll be at Point Lookout in no time.
Welcome to Point Lookout, my friend. The trip was fine. The weather's nice and damp, and everything out there looks pleasant as ever. Looks like nothing's changed since my last visit, except all that smoke I saw on the way in. Oh, nothing much. Just old Calvert Mansion. Just a huge abandoned estate teeming with who knows what opportunities for profitable scavenging. You know, nothing much. I know I said Point Lookout was perfect for treasure hunters, but it's a rare day when you get a beacon like that. You're staring at it, friend. Drink it in. See the glorious boardwalk? fabled pleasure town of the sunny past, and beyond it lies the haunted swamplands. Who knows what's hidden in them? But while you get your bearings, my friend runs an excellent supply shop right here near the boardwalk. Depends what you're looking for. If you need supplies, head to the shop over at the end of these docks. Convenient? And I get caps for referring you. If you need a place to stay, there's an old motel further into town. The beds there are still pretty soft, even if it's because they're full of lice. And if you're looking for some hunting, there's a fella named Plick who runs a club out in the northeast. Strictly for high rollers, though. Good travels to you. Well, hello there, young traveler. The fates had told me that I would receive a visitor today. But I'm being rude. I am Madame Panada, and this is Madame Panada's House of Wares. For all things a traveler needs, I am here to provide. Bullets, stim packs, armor, weapons, junk. If you need it, Madame Panada has already anticipated your need and procured it months ago. Go to the bank and use the password Xin Chan Weng. The software is configured to recognize only our voices. Welcome to Bingcom, Secure Teller. Vocal authorization requested. Processing, processing, password verified. Voice ID mismatch. Access denied. User voice unauthorized. Access denied. And use the password to Xin Chan Weng. Processing. The software is configured to recognize only password our voices. Verified. Voice access denied. Pro safety deposit. Processing. Processing. Voice ID confirmed. 
Access granted. Agent Zhang, as you know, an important Chinese surveillance vessel was lost in American waters. Your mission is to destroy derelict submarine SSN-37-1A dash dash before the Americans can recover and analyze it. The recovery location is included in this dossier, and your cover ensures that the Americans will allow you access to their recovery operation. However, you will need an authorization code to trigger the self-destruct sequence. One of our field operatives in your area, Agent Yang, has these codes hidden in a dental capsule, but her current whereabouts are unknown. Locate and rendezvous with Agent Yang, then destroy the submarine. Report to your safe house for extraction information when the mission is complete. The will of the people protect you, Agent Yang. have the look of a local, son. Think you could help a sick woman get on the mend? Reckon it's the orange fever. I do feel light in my head. Now that is just an awfully rude thing to say, sweetie. Well, I... Oh, fine, maybe you're no hog's fool, but I reckon we both come out better if you can help me cook up some tonic. Secret family technique. Been so for generations. Help me brew some up by gathering ingredients. I'll share the batch to make it worth your while and sweeten the deal with 300 caps. Tell you what, have a bit. This is left over from an old batch, but should be a swig or two there. More than enough to loosen you up, I'll wager. This and that. Let me know when you want to work out the details. There aren't too many ingredients, but I brew large batches, so we need a good bit of each. We'll need uh, punga fruit, yeast, and some fishing batteries for that extra little kick. Punga fruit, and lots of it. The stuff those loonies make at the church is best. Ten of those will do, but might cost you. Wild fruit will do the trick, but you'll need twice as much of it. Yeah, ten from the growers at the cathedral or twenty wild ones. Well, we'll need yeast. You can find it about anywhere, but there's a big stash on the boardwalk. Three sacks is enough. You best keep this one to yourself, sweetie. The family tonic gets real kick from our secret ingredient. We need just a little bit of battery acid. Oh, don't look like that now. You reckon I'd be around to tell you about it if it weren't safe enough? Bring me six fishing batteries and I'll scrape them into the mix. I thought you'd never ask. Why, I'm just folk. What more is there? Things aren't wonderful, but I reckon it's hard all around. My family's lived here about since, whew, well, before the war, and I reckon we'll be here a long time yet. <laughs> here I thought you were a quick one. Look, sweetie, I reckon you'd have shot me as soon as you walked in here if you weren't a kind soul, or at least an enterprising type. That old thing's been in my family for years and years. Well before the bombs, there was a time folks couldn't get no tonic by law, and my family did okay helping them get what they needed. I thought you'd never ask. Could it now? I suppose you'd know how to see to that, wouldn't you? 
aren't you a smart one? Sweet a tonic's better for both of us, after all. Thanks for mending the still, sweetie. You're a peach. Don't be a stranger now. <laughs>